Remember the famous uh, Matrix Deja Vu Black Cat at the start of the first film, where the black cat walks past and they're like, oh, Deja Vu. Have you ever wondered how the hell animals actually work in the Matrix? You know, like the humans are all plugged into pods to be in the Matrix. Do you think that black cat has its own little red pod? He's next to all the plugged in dogs. In fact, how many times do you remember actually seeing an animal in the Matrix? I bet it's more than you think. Well, in this video, I'm gonna be going over the entire topic of how animals work within the Matrix. First, let's just go over every time an animal is seen within the Matrix, because like I said, I bet it's more than you think. Okay, so first, the Deja Vu black cat. In the Matrix Reloaded, we see loads of crows, some fish. In the Matrix Resurrections, we see this flock of birds. In the Animatrix, in Kid's Story, more crows, another cat. I'm starting to think that the Wachowskis really liked cats and birds, I guess. In World Record of the Animatrix, there's a dog. Also in Beyond of the Animatrix, there's another dog, butterflies, rats, cats, and another bird. In Detective Story, it's another cat. Yeah, the Wachowskis definitely have a thing for cats. The Animatrix story matriculated is a bit of a weird one because it's technically not set in the Matrix, they're in the real world. You see this weird kind of, I don't know, like a monkey thing? It shows that animals didn't all die out. Broadcast depth a octopus, as well as some crabs and some fish. In Butterfly comic, we see a butterfly. In the Deja Vu comic, is someone talking about ladybirds, and we also see a robin. In the comic Let It All Fall Down, we see an eagle. In the comic Run Saga Run, we see another white rat. Sweating the small stuff, we see a cat and a spider. And of course, possibly the main one is the famous steak scene with Cypher in The Matrix. He's eating dead cow. Now, obviously, people don't realise that, but it begs the question again. Meat. Where does meat come from? Does it come from a animal that was killed in real life in a pod? So do any of these animals have a real-life counterpart in the real world? Let's look at Kujaku, one of the synthients from the Matrix Resurrections, because that kind of answers this question. So first, who is Kujaku? Kujaku is a synthient who switched to the human side and is an ally of Niobe. Kujaku is a spy for IO, you know, the new human city of IO, within the Matrix power plant. So Kujaku is the one that kind of comes up with the plan to save Trinity's body from the pod in the Matrix Resurrections, um, which means that there's definitely a kind of allyship there between Kujaku and the humans, despite being a machine. Kujaku, in real life, as you can see, resembles a bird, and it's got grey armour with blue lines going through it, with different kind of connectors and cables that are used to kind of connect a human or connect anybody really as we see to the matrix even within the real world so kujaku is kind of like a mobile matrix transmitter basically so you know you have these uh, seats where the humans plug themselves into to get into the matrix kujaku is like one of those but it can fly and the word kujaku actually means peacock in japanese so as i was saying kujaku being in the matrix though that's another question we see kujaku outside in the real world but in the matrix kujaku is a pigeon and the reason we know this is because of the book from animation supervisor Keith Roberts, The Illusion Almanac, Creating the Matrix Resurrections. When Keith was being asked about animating the different elements of the Matrix Resurrections, specifically the animals, in this case, Kujaku. And Keith says, Kujaku was an entirely different proposition. Kujaku was the difficult one, Roberts confessed. You've got a kind of half pigeon, half manta ray, with tentacles and a flowing tail. I mean, how do you go about animating that? The animation team turned to animal behaviour for inspiration. We looked at manta rays and octopus tentacles. We did look at pigeons, because Kujaku is a pigeon in the Matrix. But we realised those quick little head moves weren't right. They made Kujaku look erratic and not sentient enough. So if Kujaku is a pigeon in the Matrix, as we know from the canon explanation here, why? Which pigeon? Well, it's this pigeon. It's the one flying by Neo as he's climbing on top of this roof here. The pigeon sees Neo, flies away, and then we suddenly see later on that Kujaku, and therefore Sati, who is, you know, stationed within Kujaku, knows about Neo's problem. She knows about everything because she has been watching him via Kujaku as this pigeon in the Matrix. So we've got Kujaku, but what about the rest of the animals? What about the black cat? What about all the birds we saw? What about everything, the ladybird, the spiders, whatever? Everything that's in the Matrix as an animal, does it have a real world counterpart like Kujaku? Well, for that, we look at an interview with the Wachowskis that took place in 1999 on the whatisthematrix.warnerbrothers.com website. 
What about the animals in the Matrix? Are they real animals or just computer generated images? Wachowskis. Sadly, they are all computer generated images. So straight from the horse's mouth there, the Wachowskis are saying that normally animals within the Matrix are just CGI. They're just programs in the same way that anything else in the Matrix is a program. And we see this from what the Oracle says as well. In the Matrix Reloaded, uh, the scene where Neo is talking to the Oracle on that bench, the Oracle says this. Look, see those birds? At some point, a program was written to govern them. So the question, why didn't the machines just plug all of the animals into the Matrix when they first created the Matrix, you know, save having to plug in all these like pesky humans, just plug in a bunch of cows and stuff. What makes you think they didn't? We don't know exactly how the Matrix started. Yes, we have the amazing story of the second Renaissance, and I've covered that as well um, in great detail, so please click in the top right corner to see that. But it basically explains how the machines won the war against humans, and they basically plugged all the humans in. Well, we don't know exactly what happened after the machines won the war. They could have tried plugging in every single cow on the planet, you know? However, you've got to look at what Smith says in The Matrix 1. He says that when more and more humans were realising they were in a simulation in the early versions of The Matrix, entire crops were lost. So by that, Smith is referring to entire crops of human bodies, you know, because everything is just crop to him. He doesn't care about the human element, you know. So that could have happened with animals as well. You know, the machines could have plugged in every dog and cat on the planet, and then when the dogs and cats realized they were in a simulation, entire crops were lost. We don't know. Another major point though is about the analyst's matrix. So the analyst created a brand new type of matrix in the Matrix Resurrections, one that was more based on manipulating emotion. Now, of course, the human view of animals in general is that animals don't have as much of a advanced emotional palette as humans do. However, whether or not that's true, it's what humans believe. So therefore, it's what machines believe. Because remember, the machines are a human invention. So the machines will take whatever the current view is from humans and use it to create their matrix. So therefore, the analyst, he wouldn't even bother plugging animals into the matrix because he know he can get a more advanced, more developed, more energy efficient output from manipulating a human brain than manipulating a dog's brain. Remember, everything that the analyst came up with for his brand new version of the Matrix is based on energy. They were in the middle of an energy civil war, the machines were. So therefore, the analyst came up with this brand new style of Matrix that came up with more output of energy. So what do you think? We have the official word from the Wachowskis saying that the animals are just CGI, but was that always the case? Did the machines try to plug in a bunch of cows? Tell me below. I want to hear your thoughts and also please subscribe. So thank you. My name is George and I will see you next time.